Hello everyone, my name's Robbie Danson. Uh, I'm a magician. I do specialise in weddings. Probably 80% of the bookings I do uh, are actually at wedding, entertaining guests and yourself, obviously. Uh, I do a lot of stuff like that. Uh, I do corporate stuff. I also do some private functions as well, like birthday parties and so on. Uh, I'll show you the quick trick, actually, and then I'll tell you what's good about having a magician for your special day, okay? So, we've got some pack of cards here. It's a bit difficult when you're doing this on your own to tell people to stop. But I'll give you an example, okay? So we can see all the cards are mixed up, all completely different. There's even a couple of jokers in there as well. As I say, I normally tell someone to tell me when to stop, but with there being no one here, I'll just say stop, and I'll just stop at that card. Uh, if you can just look at that card for me and try and remember it as well, is that okay? So what I'm gonna do now is put them out of the way. I'm gonna attempt to draw the card, okay? So if you just wait there, I'm just gonna got a notepad here. And what I'm gonna do is draw your card for you, hopefully anyway. I'm not very good at drawing. Hopefully my magician skills are slightly better. Okay. It'll only be a minute. Just try that there. And that should about do it really. Okay, so I wanna know if that was your card. I'm hoping it was. Uh, oh, maybe it's not your card. This has not really gone too well, but I'll be honest, that's actually a box of cards. Box of cards always look like that, as you can see. You can see the edge on them. Your card is actually the 14th card down in the pack. If you just keep watching the box, with a bit of luck, your card will make an appearance at some point. Uh, with a bit of luck, was that your card? Okay, hopefully it was. And all I'll do, you can always have this as a souvenir anyway, so all I'll basically just do is rip it off and you can take that with you anyway. So that's one thing to do. This is just the type of thing that I'll be doing to entertain your guests. Um, as I say, having a... Having a magician at a wedding, there's a lot of quiet times traditionally at a wedding. It could be, for instance, um, at the drinks reception, right after the ceremony, uh, you're getting your photographs took. Not everyone's involved for, for an hour or so while you're doing that. Uh, obviously, your close family, close friends and, and yourselves, but a lot of people are milling around with nothing really to do at that point, apart from having a drink. Um, so that's when this, I think, comes into its own, because basically I can just mingle with everybody, either in a room, at the bar, outside, on a terrace, whatever. Uh, I don't come with a table, I'm completely self-contained, so everything's in my pockets that I need, and I'll just basically be going up to groups of people um, and having a good laugh with them, because that's what it's about. It's entertaining. Um, I know I do a lot of magic, uh, but I perform it in, with a bit of a comedy twist on it, so I like to have a good laugh and make sure people are really enjoying themselves. On top of the fact that you'll see some fantastic reactions, hopefully, if your photographer ca catches a couple of um, snaps where they're showing people and you can see the, the, the amazed look on the face. If you look on this post, you'll actually see some photographs where they've been performing and you'll see the type of uh, reactions that you get uh, for your album at a later date. You don't want me on them, but your guests are really funny when you see them with the jaws wide open. Okay, so what I'll do, I'll also show you another thing as well. Uh, as I say, there's a video on here where I'm actually performing um, at a wedding in Congleton. Just a simple car routine that I like to do. And you'll see that, um, that's actually next to it. If you click on that, you'll see the reactions on that video of what you're getting. And you can certainly see how people are enjoying themselves. Also, like I say, drinks receptions, you've got lulls all over the place. You've got your wedding breakfast, uh, maybe before the speeches or after, where they can mingle around on the tables to do it. You've got the lull after that, before your evening starts, okay? So you've got maybe an hour or two to kill before you even get to the fact of your evening starting and your evening guests arriving and your disco starting and so on. That's another good time where people are really... At the end of the day, it's a long day and there's not a lot to do unless you specifically have got a lot of things booked. Um, and like I say, it just keeps everything up and the mood up until the night time starts. The dynamics then change the whole evening and I've gone on and on my way home, okay? So, or even like I say, going into early evening is a good time as well before your first dance, for instance, maybe six to eight o'clock, okay? There's loads of different times. But I would have a chat with you on that to see which is the best to fit in with your special day, okay? So, basically, I've got cards here. They've got celebrities' names on. I don't know how old you are watching. You can see how old I am. I feel a lot of 10, 20 years older than I actually look. Uh, I am only 30. Um, but you can, you can see that they've got celebrities' names on. Hopefully you'll know most of these, if not all. So I'll give you an example. Either men, women, singers, actors, some are both, uh, and some are no longer here, and some are, if you get what I mean. So we've got John Lennon, we've got Madeleine Monroe, Robert Downey Jr., Tom Hanks, Johnny Depp. Rihanna, we've got Bob Marley, Scarlett Johansson, Robert De Niro. Uh, we've got Mr. Bean, he's not as big as the rest, but we'll leave him in here for a laugh. We've got Adele, Angelina Jolie, Katy Perry, Diana Ross, Orlando Bloom, Bruce Willis, and it goes on and on and on and on and on 
and on and on and on and on, just like me really, on and on and on, okay. So, what I want you to do, or what I'm gonna to have to try and do on my own, because nobody's here to actually take your car from me, uh, I'm just gonna riffle through and at some point I'm gonna say stop, okay? I'm just gonna put that there and I'm gonna show you that card. I don't know whether it's the right way around or it's not the right way around, it's that way, okay? So, you can see that card. Again, just remember what that card is, okay? And what I'm gonna do, okay? While I'm talking to you, you will see me looking at this. I've got a piece of card here, okay? And ultimately, all I'm gonna do is cut around, okay? So, I would normally ask you some questions at this point, but I can't because obviously I'm trying to con concentrate on the camera and obviously I don't wanna take my fingers off because you're not gonna take me, you know, no one's gonna book me if, me, uh, if they're ringing 999 to get the emergency services and ambulance into your special day because one of your fingers has come off. No one's gonna enjoy that. Although you might, you might think it's funny, I don't know. So if you just bear with me a sec, okay. As I say, I'd normally ask a few questions while I'm doing this. Um, and I always try to do with a particular part of the room where the mess isn't going on the floor. I do have a way with the venue as well, uh, just to make, that's, make sure that's okay. Another thing as well, uh, to let you know, you can see me banner there, you can actually see that I'm fully insured. A lot of people start laughing when they see this. It's on my business cards as well. It's very important that I'm fully insured. A lot of your venues will actually state that they need your suppliers to be insured. At least you know you're covered. If you need that certificate, just drop me a message and I can get it straight over to the venue, no issues at all. So, here we go. As I say, you do remember the person that you picked, don't you, the celebrity, okay. So yeah, like I say, um, I'll have a good laugh with everybody. All I do is take a small deposit to actually secure a date in the first place. The outstanding balance isn't actually required until a month before your event, okay? Which could be a couple of years away. Some people's are a couple of years away. Obviously, with what's been going on of late, a lot of me dates have gone for next year already. I am quite limited on the dates I've got already for 2021. Already taken bookings for 2022. And there's one or two have already contacted me regarding 2023. So people are booking quite a way ahead. Uh, as they normally do, oh, well, there's a lot to uh, a lot to get sorted. Okay, but like I say, the main thing I do is entertain your guests at quiet times of the day that you've had throughout your day. And basically have a good laugh and you will hear that. I'll also show, show you yourselves a nice trick as well, just for, the, for, for yourselves. So like I say, you can see it's getting a bit messy here. Okay, getting more than a bit messy actually. Okay, so. What I'll do, so I'll get them out of the way. That person that you picked before, out of interest, let's get all this to one side. Would it have been that person there? I don't know whether they'll be at your wedding. Maybe not, maybe they could have been, I don't know. But they'll be at your wedding and other celebrities if I'm doing this particular trick for your guests. Thanks very much for watching. Just check out my Facebook page uh, where you'll also see a lot of reviews uh, of people who bought me before, specifically at weddings as well. And also my website as well with the details on the bottom. Thanks very much. Have a fantastic weekend. Hopefully I'll catch you soon. Thanks. My name's Robbie Danson. Bye-bye.